Hi guys! Uh, it's me again, Rose from the Philippines. Uh, welcome to my channel. It is called Gonchiliera, a show and tell of crochet and craft related items. So today is July 28, 2019. It's a Sunday. And I took the time in the morning to make this podcast. Um, because I'm going to church later. So what have I been up to these past days? Uh, I don't have much to show you guys because I got sidetracked with uh, a letters tutorial and I'm happy to announce that I have put up two of them and I have filmed uh, the third one which is for the letter C so I'm going to upload that later when I can so the only crochet item that I have been working on monogamously is this blouse here it is also from the Japanese magazine that I bought in the past and this is how it will look like or how it is supposed to look like and it has a chart at the at the back of the magazine that I was following so I have made the first panel now it is made from top to bottom so this is how the stitches look like they are clusters of uh, treble clusters and also some chains so it is kind of lazy in a way and an open work so I was able to use up the humming yarn for this from JC Crochet and it is a gradient cotton yarn that alternate or alternates between the colors so now I have this much left I, I have this much now I was able to make the edge part the other day so I'm going to start the second panel which is the back panel for this blouse using uh, the other yarn that I have because I wanted it to be uh, a little bit the same as this one wherein I start with the green one. So I'm going to use another cake of yarn for that first. And there are some leftovers for this red one here. So after using up the green, I'm going to use that. And it starts like this in the diagram. So it is going to be, this is how it's going to be started. So I'm, I'm glad to have the diagrams on hand so I can confidently work on it. So that is the only uh, crochet project I have been making. Uh, because I, get, I got kind of sidetracked with making the letters or how to be the letters tutorials. So, I'm glad to have put up the letter A. So, if you want to check it out, please do. I will put the uh, playlist on the description box below. I was also I was able to make the letter B. And since I have reformatted my phone, uh, this is not the other way around. It is... Um, the same as I am looking at it so this is the letter B and I have also made uh, four of the letter C because there are two versions to it one is this one with a side cube there and these are just three sides that are three cubes for each side so, I have filmed the tutorial for the letter C. I just wasn't able to put it up yet. So, it's going to be my next upload. And my next letters, or the next letters, are the letter D, uh, the letter E, and the letter F. Uh, last Friday, I was able to go to Tabora to buy a few more of the chalk beads. And I was finding beads that has big holes in them so that I would be able to show you guys uh, faster 
because it will be very tricky to insert the string wherein you have passed it through and just a small hole. So those are coming up and yeah, those are the only projects I have going. Uh, yesterday, we went to Mama's friend again at Nova Luches. We were supposed to meet with her mother, which also has been a mentor of Mama from sewing. So, we weren't able to see her because they were busy preparing for the wedding. They were fitting some dresses that they are going to wear for that event. So, we weren't able to see... Uh, Nana Mary yesterday uh, and I was quite disappointed also because I wasn't able to bring some stuff with me and uh, Ate Mercy has requested for some of them so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the pictures online or on Facebook or send it to her on messenger so that she can pick from it I wasn't able to bring some because I <clears throat> wasn't able to bring some of them, uh, the body bags, because I wasn't able to put the lining and zippers yet. So I'm still to put lining and zippers for these bags. And these this bags has the design of the tulip flower or the tulip stitch. So I'm gonna put linings on this one and show it to her on, on, met, on the messenger if she wants to pick it up. And then the last one is this one, which you have seen from my last podcast. Then I'm going to put uh, lining and zippers on all of the character purses. I was able to cut the needed fabric for it. So I'm just going to put the zippers next so that I can also show her. And I'm also planning to put it up on Facebook or on Shopee. Uh, I wanted to learn how to sell on Shopee because the shipping there is pretty low it, and it will be much more convenient for me because they have the COD option wherein uh, the customer will pay the deliverer or the courier after they have um, received the item. So I'm still learning that. I'm not quite confident yet in working on it. And the other day, I picked up this letter G because it is getting dusty. So I want to revamp it in a way. So I have uh, pasted a bond paper on it. And there are some crayons lying around from when uh, Daniel is using it. So I decided to melt some crayons on this letter G here. And there are also some red ones. I also use the lipstick that I have I have from before I, I, that I'm not able to use now. So when Sophie saw this, she wanted to try it out also. So uh, I let her try it out with my consent or with my monitoring her so that she can work on it using some candle and some crayon. I think these are all of the projects that I have on hand now. Um, I'm thinking of making some shawls out of the uh, bamboo yarns that I have. And I really want to try out the dragonfly stitch or filet crochet. So this is going to be up next. I am trying to work on the hippo. I have made some legs for it but since I don't have a fiber filled yet, I, it is also in standby. <laughs> oh, so lately, I have been watching Murder, She Wrote because um, one person there or a, a channel there has been putting up uh, episodes from Murder, She Wrote. So I'm kind of been binge watching it and now I am not so into other, uh, other movies on Netflix. But I'm still watching parts of this year. It's exciting to watch the 
that program on YouTube. So I think those are most of it. This is going to be a short one. And I'm glad to have got up with you guys. I really wanted to watch all of your videos now that they have been compiling in a way. <laughs> so I wanted also to make a Ganchillera chat uh, chatting about my tutorials journey. Some stuff that I want to share with you guys from when I'm starting. Uh, I started making podcast 2014 and it's just the at 2017 that I started uh, working on tutorials. Uh, people have been seeing the Hello Kitty wallet that I've been making, the beaded one. So, some of uh, one of my subscribers had asked if I can make a tutorial for it. So, I was able to do that in English and that is the first tutorial that I have made. But, I was surprised that it is not the one who is mostly viewed or mostly watched by uh, subscribers. The one uh, tutorial that is most viewed is the is the one that has the circle design. I was surprised because it has some clips there that is cut into four, uh, cut into three, because I made a mistake of making a clip in a vertical in a vertical position but it is the one that has accumulated 72,000 views now so <laughs> I'm hoping that my other tutorials will be that way so it will be awesome for me <laughs> so today here it's, it's a little bit dim and it's just 8 in the morning um, we have been experiencing some rains but it has been sunny most of the time Sometimes it rains and then it becomes sunny again when we are traveling yesterday to to Novaliches. When we are going home, we have to take another route because it is hard to ride a jeepney. Uh, there are other streets that is very tra that has uh, the most traffic in it, so we take another route. But Mama is a bit disappointed about it. <laughs> Because it took us about 4 hours to get home. <laughs> so when we get home, we're a bit tired already. So please do check out my other tutorials. I don't know if I'm gonna insert other ones that are crochet related like the tumbler holder. But I'm working on it. I'm just quite busy uh, putting up stuff and learning how to sell on Shopee. So my other projects are on hold so it's very nice searching up with you guys i hope you have a fine day crafting or just bonding with your family i think that's it from me Bye for now